Hey y'all, it's Erin with Twirling Down Main Street. If you're new to the channel, welcome, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're not new, then welcome back. This is part two of my Universal Florida Basics series. And if you wanna see part one, I'll link it right here and down below. Part two is going to be covering the rides at Universal Studios. I'm gonna to try to go in somewhat order around the park, but this park isn't an exact circle like Islands of Adventure, so it's a little harder to kind of stay in order. But I'm gonna start with Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, which is right there when you walk into the park. This ride is a simulator type ride where you're following Gru and the three girls around and all of the minions, of course. It does not have 3D glasses, but you're sitting in a theater, but you're in individual seat pod kind of things that move. Why'd you bite me? And for some people, it can affect their motion sickness. This ride does have stationary seating though, so if you don't want to have the moving aspect of it, or just want to watch what's on the screen, or have a condition where you can't have the moving seats, then you can request stationary seating and you'll just be sitting in a regular chair or bench or whatever and just watch what's going on on the screen. Right across from Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is Shrek 4D. This ride follows Shrek and friends through an adventure. And <laughs> this ride does have 3D glasses. And then the seats that you're in also move. They don't move like up or down or a lot or anything, but they'll kind of move forward a little bit and backwards a little bit and kind of simulate riding a horse or whatever. Um, it does jostle you around actually a lot. So I would suggest not eating a large meal before riding a ride or like don't drink a lot of coffee or anything because it does jostle you around a lot more than I was expecting. After those two rides is Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, which you can see from almost anywhere in the park. This is the large red roller coaster that looks like it goes straight up and then straight down. This ride actually never fully inverts. At the very top of the loop, it actually twists so that you're right side up while you're on top of the loop and you're not upside down. So it never goes upside down and a lot of people actually don't realize this because of that twist. It's a pretty intense roller coaster. It is a lot of fun. You do get to pick your music when you're loading. So when the lap bar comes down, there's a little screen on it and you get to pick what music you want to listen to uh, out of a pre-selected list of music. So that's kind of a cool thing that it's kind of a customizable ride because you get to pick which music you're listening to. Next is Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. This ride is another simulator type ride. You'll sit in a theater and then the entire seats of the theater will rise up and simulate flying. So you're following Jimmy Fallon through a race through New York as the title of the ride suggests. And you'll see a lot of elements from The Tonight Show and just Jimmy Fallon things. If you're a fan of Jimmy Fallon or The Tonight Show, then I would recommend this ride. It does blow air on you as you're riding it, so I don't get as motion sick on this ride as I do on other simulator rides because that constant stream of like a wind of air is nice. This ride does have a virtual line a lot right now because it's hard to social distance in the line. If you want to see more about getting a virtual line, check out my video down below. I will also link it right here on getting a virtual line. If you have Express Pass, then you don't need to worry about virtual line and you'll just go and ride it whenever you want. Next is Revenge of the Mummy. This ride starts out as a dark ride and then turns into an indoor roller coaster. It doesn't invert at all, but it does go pretty fast and has lots of twists and turns. It's a lot of fun. You don't even have to have seen any of the Mummy movies to enjoy it because I've never seen any of those movies and I really enjoy this ride. It's one of my favorite rides at Universal Studios. This ride also has a virtual line if it's a crowded day. So again, see that video that I have about how to get a virtual line so you don't miss this ride. Next up is Transformers The Ride 3D. This ride is very similar to The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man over at Islands of Adventure. You're in a car type vehicle sort of thing that stays on the ground and you move around and you have 3D glasses on and then there's different screens with 3D scenes on them. There's also some just regular props that aren't screens so it's kind of a combination of both but this one can affect motion sickness if you're prone to motion sickness. Fast and Furious is another simulator type ride that puts you in the middle of a Fast and Furious movie. I've never ridden this ride. I've also never seen any of the Fast and Furious movies but you can find other videos of ride throughs of this ride on YouTube. I have heard that this ride can make you pretty motion sick though. Now we're getting into the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, uh, Diagon Alley, London waterfront part of the park. And the first ride that you'll come upon is the Hogwarts Express, which not only is a ride, but it's transportation to Islands of Adventure. In order to ride the Hogwarts Express though, you have to either have a park to park ticket 
or an annual pass. Since you're actually going to the other park, they will scan your ticket before you get on the Hogwarts Express. So you can't ride it and stay on it because they scan your ticket before you even get in line to make sure that you can enter the other park. Make sure to ride this train both ways because the scenes are different each way. Uh, it's really cool. It's a nice cool way to get from one park to the other if the lines aren't too bad. And it's a whole lot better than walking. And it is a nice spot to cool off in the summer if it is hot. The next ride is in Diagon Alley and it's Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. This ride is sort of an indoor roller coaster, but there's not much of the roller coaster aspect. There's a little bit, but it's mostly screens. You'll have 3D glasses on and then you'll move from different rooms that have screens and it follows Harry Potter and his friends as they try to escape from Green Guts. Next is Men in Black Alien Attack. This ride is also a game. You're competing against other people that are in your ride vehicle. You'll have little blasters and you're going through training to become one of the Men in Black. You'll shoot aliens and get points and everything and it's a whole lot of fun. It does have a little bit of spinning. Uh, but nothing crazy. Next is the Simpsons ride. This ride is a simulator type ride. There's a giant screen and then you're in a little vehicle that kind of looks like a train of a roller coaster. And you'll sit in it with your party and then you get raised up to where the actual screen is and then it moves um, along with the screen. This ride makes me extremely motion sick. I had to close my eyes like halfway through the ride. Uh, the graphics just weren't great on it. I don't know if the like bulb on the projector needed replacing or something or if it's just out of date now but this ride gave me extreme motion sickness. Also in that area is Kang and Kodo's Twirl and Hurl. This is another like Dumbo type ride where you sit in a little vehicle and spin around so it is kid friendly. It's not open every day right now um, it just depends on the crowd levels. If it's a more crowded day then they will open this ride. Another kid-friendly roller coaster is Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. This is over back behind Animal Actors on location. And this ride is just a small little kitty coaster. It's a short ride. I think it's only about like 20 seconds or someone even said 10 seconds once. Uh, but it's a cute little ride. It's even fun when you're an adult. And the last ride is E.T. Adventure. This ride follows E.T. and you'll actually end up going to E.T.'s home planet. It's kind of like Peter Pan's Flight over at Magic Kingdom where you're hanging from a track that's above you and the ride vehicle kind of floats along. Very mild, not scary, um, no sharp movements or anything. It's a nice relaxing ride. Those are all the rides at Universal Studios. Next week I will talk about all of the rides at Islands of Adventure so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe, and we'll see you later.